Hi everyone, so we're at Universal today. We're gonna do a bit of a spooky hunt for some Halloween Horror Night stuff. But I'm a novice, so we're gonna do some research as we go. But come on, let's have some fun. <laughs> okay, so if it wasn't already obvious, I don't know what I'm doing. So this is the first vlog. It's gonna be really interesting. So we're going into studios right now. Uh, when you walk in, they have scaffolding up uh, just for the first scare zone. I'm not sure what that's for. <laughs> uh, this is my first year going to the event, so we're gonna find out as we go. We're gonna learn, so it's gonna be fun. But first, I'm really hungry. <laughs> it's about one o'clock, so I'm going to go grab some lunch. Um, so you have some scaffolding up there. It looks like there's steps too that people can climb up on. Otherwise, I have no idea. <laughs> um, we're gonna go get lunch though. I think we're gonna go to Minions Cafe. Stay tuned. <laughs> I love the little minion up there. <laughs> He's so cute. It's really well themed. That's really cute too. In we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I'm at Minions Cafe and my food just arrived. Just super excited to go down. It's so Oh, this one's called Agnes's Honeymoon Soup. It's a tomato soup that is green and has a bit of pork belly in it and a tomato gummy bear. And it comes with grilled cheese. And you might be wondering why I'm having soup in the summer. It's really good soup. <laughs> good soup. So I'll get you a better look at it real quick. So that's what it looks like. It looks kind of gross, like the green color, but it's actually really good. <laughs> So I just got out of Minions Cafe. It was delicious. The soup is very good and it comes with the grilled cheese, like I said earlier. Um, it has a bit of a kick to it, so if you don't like heat very much in your food, I would say get something else. They have other good options there as well. But uh, I thought it was great. And now I'm back outside. It's hot. <laughs> it is about 1.52. I'm sitting on the green outside of Roof Ride Rocket. It's not running right now because they're doing some construction on it, I believe. So it's nice and quiet over here. Uh, but before we go around and do some spooky hunts, I'm gonna look online and do some research. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through the 10 houses that are going to be in the park this year. I don't really know much about them because this is my first time at the event. So we're gonna try our best. <laughs> and then after that, we're gonna go check out some scare zones and see what they've added. I'm just gonna read off the houses very quickly. So we have Stranger Things 4, um, try to escape the curse of Venica, so that's going to be surrounding the new, newest season, I believe, of Stranger Things. I'm not updated on Stranger Things yet. Um, then we have The Exorcist Believer. Uh, they've done The Exorcist before, but this seems like it's going to be a different take on it. And my personal favorite is going to be The Last of Us, which is the first time they're having a house here. It's going to be based on the video game, not the TV show, which I think is a smart move because um, there might have been like licensing issues with the TV show. And it's just complex. Uh, next we have Chucky Ultimate Kill Count. I think they've done Chucky before, but again, it's gonna be different. It's different always. Um, next we have Universal Monsters Unmasked. That's pretty exciting. They're gonna do some stuff with the monsters that they have, like the classic stuff, which I don't think they've done on a while, so it's kind of exciting. No, no, they've done. They did like Dracula and they've done werewolf stuff a lot, so. I'm learning, we're learning as we go. Next is like they get into the original houses. So we have Dr. Oddfellow's Twisted Origins. Um, that I need to do more research on because I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, it says your soul is a price he's willing to pay. You won't be able to resist going into Dr. Oddfellow's menacing menagerie of twisted oddities. But for the price of you and your friends is steep. The cost of your soul is to feed immortal power. Next, the original, another original house, Dueling Dragons Choose Thy Fate. That I believe is based off of the house that, not the house, the, um, the ride that used to be in um, Hog, Hogsmeade in Universal Islands of Adventure, because uh, they used to have a Dueling Dragons coaster, took it down, replaced it with Hagrid's, which I love Hagrid's, so I'm impartial to it. Um, but I think this could be interesting. Uh, it says, uh, no matter who you choose, you lose, which I think is kind of interesting. I'm really fascinated to see what they do with that. Uh, next, Yeti Campground Kills, they've done um, similar stuff before. I think it's gonna be really interesting to see what this does. Uh, the tagline is Yeti or not, here they come, which <laughs> makes me chuckle. Um, 
You and your friends are about to venture into a 1950s campground overrun by huge medicine gettys. That sounds horrifying and really fun. <laughs> oh yeah, fun fact about me. Um, I'm a scaredy cat, so this is my first event coming and um, it's gonna be interesting. <laughs> I don't know which date I'm coming to yet, but I know I definitely want to attend because I think the detail that team members put into this event is so fascinating and interesting and they do it so well that I'm just going to suck it up and come because I want to. <laughs> anyway, next, um, I think we have two more. So we have The Darkest Deal, Famous Fleeting Fears Forever. This one uh, is about a blues musician that uh, trades his soul for musical glory. So there's like a big theme with like trading your soul for um, getting something in return or the, the <laughs> something like that. Um, it's an interesting take. I like it though. And then the last one is Blood Moon Dark Offerings. Bleed for the Blood Moon. Some kind of cultish thing. The colonial era village moon, worship, moon worshippers witness a blood moon at the fall festival. They take it as a sign to hunt down any non-followers, including you and your Scream Squad. I love the Scream Squad. I have a Scream Squad. My roommates and I are going to come, so that's super exciting. Um, so, hashtag Scream Squad. But, yeah, that's all of them. Uh, I don't really have any, informi inf any information on this website about the, the um, scare zones, but I have some I found on Twitter, so we're going to go through that later as I'm walking through. But that's all of them. Um, I'm super excited to attend, but for now, let's go explore the actual park. <laughs> Theme park pigeon. So they just added these, um, these food booths. <laughs> uh, based on The Last of Us, they're over right across from Transformers. This is the most uninformed Halloween Horror Nights vlog you're ever going to see. <laughs> um, yeah, I should find better resources. <laughs> but we're walking over to Revenge of the Mummy. Oh, oh, they have the guys out. Okay, the, the guys who like stand on the stilts. That's super fun. Hang on. <laughs> Look at them, they're so tall. Anyway. See that bus? That's for the event. There you go. It's a hot day. I'm not gonna lie. I'm let's we'll see. It's 2.08. I think there's a blue color show at 15, which I might stop for. Um Otherwise though, um, this scare zone, I think it's called Vamp 69, according to what I saw on Twitter. They've done a lot of Vamp scare zones, so this one's based off of like Woodstock, that kind of vibe. So they have a lot of really cool retro hippie looking stuff. And there's a stage, I can go find the stage. Um, try to avoid the people in stilts. <laughs> I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> They're scary looking. <laughs> <laughs> How am I going to survive this event? I have no idea. Um, it's going to be interesting. <laughs> this is the stage though. Oh my god, it's 16 Look! Yeah. Oh, and there's Oddfellas symbol up there. Ooh. So all of it's themed off of the Oddfellas, which so is what I'm gathering. But that's basically the gist of this scare zone. Um, Vamp 69, super exciting. Everything's kind of controlled by um, Dr. Oddfellow in the scare zones. Um, everything has a little bit of a hint of him, so that's kind of interesting. But um, it, this one's really cool. I like the design. I like um, all the hippie tie-dye kind of vibe. I'll, let's go to the bus. The bus is fun. <laughs> this is such a chaotic vlog. I, I love it. Um, we're getting used to it. We're getting used to it. Uh, once I get in the habit of actually holding this camera out in public, it'll be much more interesting. I promise. Bus. Oh, it's a Ford. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the bus. It's really cool looking. I like it a lot. Um, yeah, that's Vamp 68. I'm gonna move on because it's hot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna see if I can catch one of the shows coming up. I think Beef Builders just started. Let's see if we can head over there. This, this vlog has no rhyme or reason. The first one where it's gonna be um, a little rough, but we're getting there. Oh, the arcade air conditioning feels so good. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see what we can go get ourselves into. <laughs> the beat builders are performing right now. I'm like racing over. They're so cool. Let's say hi.
heading over to the Blues Brothers now because I love them. They're great. <laughs> they start now. They start now. <laughs> um, I'm heading in that direction. I love I'm holding it like all the way down here. Or should be holding it up here. I'm just lazy. <laughs> it's so warm today. Um, I don't know how like real vloggers do this. It's hot. <laughs> you can hear it. They're going over. Let's go. we're sweaty now because it's also in the sun so I'm cutting through an alley which I know has some new propish things themed after uh, the last of us let's give it a look hey we got a prop that's fun I don't know what this is for can I go through ha -ha. I found a food booth food booth uh, still Last of Us themed. See, look. Can I get, can I get it? <laughs> can I focus? There, uh, uh, there it is. <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, it's definitely gonna be Last of Us themed, but it's like in a weird alley situation, so I'm wondering what it's fully gonna be. Uh, do they have food here usually? Probably. I just don't know. <laughs> it's kind of a hassle to get through here. But it spits you on the other side, next to Mummy. Which, we're gonna head into a different scare zone. Which I believe is called Shipyard? Let's go find out. <laughs> Here we go, we're going into the scare zone that is called Shipyard 32. There it is. Anyway. Shipyard 32. It's a massive crane. Interesting. A lot of boxes. This is the one I was looking for. So, this is cool. Can someone fit in there? No, not really. There's not really an entrance for that, so that would one that would just have to be like set design. But it's cool. I like it. Okay. I'm heading over to the next area. So I think I'm going to try and head over to the one that's back by the media center. It's a bit of a walk, so I'm hydrating and getting over there. Um, but yeah, uh, I guess I will update you when I get over to that area. Well, I hustle over there. <laughs> I ran into another show. <laughs> there we go. This is... Um, In the shade, which is why it's a little bit darker now. I have an umbrella. Look, Yay! <laughs> it's so warm. Like today, I don't. How hot is it? There's another show going on. The, the thing I love about Universal is that, like, every hour there's like five shows going on, all like simultaneously everywhere. And wherever you go, there's always something happening. There's a character, there's singers, there's dancers, which is something I really enjoy. It's so fascinating. And you really get to know the performers, which is super fun. Um, but let me check the temperature, because it is warm. Like, I have <laughs> been walking around all day. And I have a friend. Would you like to say hello? Yes, I would. This is my friend Hi. Danielle. 
<laughs> she's one of the she's one of um the wants to be one of the dancers here. Yes. Right? Yeah. yeah. One thousand more days starting today. You got it, you got it. Yeah. But I got your water. Thank you. Okay. We're hydrating. It's You're hot dying. today. Okay. But it's so hot today. Um, but um, you're heading over to the dine and show, right? yeah. the, the dancing dine. Drive in and dance, yeah. Drive in and dance. I've never seen it before. Yeah, it's brand new. Uh, but that's right across from the Zodiac scare zone. So I'm going to go, we're going to walk over and then I'm going to see if I can watch the show and get some footage for the Zodiac scare zone. But we're going to see. But they do. <laughs> oh my god. Guys, I see a celebrity. Wait, hang on. I was going to a scare zone, but I have to stop because. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not telling you who it is until I get over there. Look at him. It's Boots and Dora. Oh my god. <laughs> They're so cute. Ah, uh, okay. We're going. <laughs> so the temperature is 92, but it feels like 100. That's so fun. Anyway. <laughs> this one is really well themed. Like out of all the ones I've seen, this one has the most theming. Yet I don't know what it's called. <laughs> I haven't really checked Twitter. I'm do I'm doing a lazy run around today because it's so warm. But there's a lot of cool stuff out here. Like lots of foliage. Oh, oh look. There's a plate. <laughs> This is really, really unhinged. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyway, it's really cool. There's a lot of cameras in here too, which I thought they were just someone filming, but they're not. They're actually um, a part of the set, which I think is interesting. And I want to know what they're for. This one is the one that has bats hanging off of the top. Can I get them in the camera? There they are. This one just hanging above me right now. And there's a spider at the very end, which I will go show you, because he's creepy. We should give him a name. There he is. Hang on. <laughs> he's creepy. <laughs> um, we're gonna call him Fred, because that's what I can think of, and he's just giving off Fred vibes. So when I come to Halloween Horror Nights, We'll say hi to Fred. <laughs> We're gonna head over to the Zodiac themed scare zone, which I believe is the last one. I think there's another that I missed, but I don't know. It's hot. It's fine. <laughs> Bye, Fred. <laughs> and on we go. I love we just passed like a real vlogger, and he saw me do that. I just, I gotta go. <laughs> We're gonna go to the last one, which is the Zodiac one, and then we're gonna head out. Probably. <laughs> There's a flag. Oh, you can't really see it very well. Hang on. There you go. The Simpsons are here. They're adorable. <laughs> I can't. They're so cute. Okay. Yo, it's so hot. <laughs> How many times have I said that? Like a hundred? Um, couldn't tell you what that's about. <laughs> Oh, there's like something on the back of it. Hang on. So there's that, which leads all the way up to that, which it looks like, you know, could be fire. It could be fog. It looks more like fire to me. But what do I know? It kind of looks like fire. Like, at the very tippy top of those, there's like a little thing that looks like it would shoot fire. I guess we'll find out when we show up to the event, won't we? Anyway, let's go to the final stage at the very front for this scare zone, I believe, which is called Zodiac. This is it. There's a lot of buttons on the stage, so you presume there's gonna be some kind of lighting or sound effect. Um, that's a lot though. That's like the most I've seen. Uh, it has this like dragon. I'm assuming this is for the dueling dragons because there's like this like little dragon bat thing and it's on both sides. Well, I don't know. That's kind of it. For everything I've seen here, outside of the scaffolding at the front. Um, but this one's really cool. This is probably my favorite set piece out of all the set pieces we've seen. Um, it has a lot of detail, which I like. And there's a lot of scare buttons, which I'm just wondering what it's going to be. We will find out in like two weeks, which is super exciting. 
Tampa. Well, not me and Tampa. Everyone will find out in two weeks, but I won't be here probably till like late September. But we shall see. Um, anyway, I'm heading back through the Zodiac Zone because I wanted to check out the characters that were in this area, and I think there's another Blues Brothers show. Remember how I said I was gonna leave? Yeah, I'm crazy. <laughs> I, I just, it, it's fun here. I like being here. So um, that's pretty much all the scare zones I've seen. There are, there's a lot more scaffolding throughout the rest of the park, but that's really the ones that have the most decoration at least. I think there is another blue show. There is. It's a lot of fun. So I'm not saying pick it up again. Okay, so we're back. <laughs> um, I went and watched the Blue Brothers show. Great as always, they're fun. They have another one too, but I, I that might be a bit crazy for me to go see that again. Um, so here's my game plan. I got gelato. It's soup now. Got soup. Two soups today. <laughs> I'm sitting nearby Lama. Uh, my friend is out there dancing again. She wants to be a dancer, so she's living her best life. Um, I'm here melting. <laughs> um, just like my gelato. We went through all the scare zones and we talked a bit about the haunted houses. Um, in detail, no, but we talked about them. Uh, my game plan. Um, finish this gelato soup. Um, sing it, which is the acapella show. Back to 3.50, which is in three minutes. <laughs> I'm going to run over there and catch that. And then I'm going to see if I can get on Mummy. Maybe? They have a simple rider line, so maybe. Otherwise, that might be it for me today. Um, it's been a crazy day. I'm so tired, but let's finish this gelato soup. <laughs> so I just got out of the second. I didn't really film it because I just wanted to enjoy it. Because it's a lot of fun. I put my shoes on that. Can you go see? Maybe. <laughs> it's kind of it. I'm going to go on the mummy, like I said. Um, but otherwise, we're chilling. It's been a good day. Um, it's Hello. I've been here longer than planned. Just got out of the Born Stuntacular, which is my favorite show here. But it's interesting because um, during the show, in the scene where they have it set in Dubai, and they had this giant set piece, um, it had a technical issue. So the set piece, <laughs> they use RFID to keep the pieces moving throughout the show. And the set piece in Dubai, which is, they said it's the largest set piece in the entire show, it kept moving even though the screen was moving and it was in the wrong spot, so they had to stop the show and fix it. Which I thought was super interesting. And they had a technician come out and talk to us about uh, how the show works. And they said that the show has the screen, it's on like 10% brightness, which is super interesting to me. Because, uh, like, what would it be at 20% brightness? It's at 10% and it's already that bright. But that was the last thing we're doing today, I swear. <laughs> I'm heading out. I'm walking to the exit. See? Exit. <laughs> but it's been a fun day. Um, I'm really tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. And I will see you soon. Bye. Twist it, everybody. Come on and twist.